like a, a career ends in, in the Sweet 16? Um, we're sad that it's over, but uh, really proud of what we accomplished this year. Um, you know, everything that uh, that we got done is uh, big for us, but also for the future of, of Oregon basketball. You leave this program now, but how, I guess, do you, you see it as being in much better shape, you leaving it, than when you got here? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, with the help of EJ, um, him being here four years and helping turn the program around and uh, Arsalan being, um, you know, a really, really big factor for us. And uh, Carlos, the time, the, his two years, um, you know, just turn the program around. And uh, it's been, uh, it's, it's been a journey, and uh, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. So we're sad, but you know, proud at the same time of what we got done. Johnny was saying um, that he, in the past two years, he's felt like you know the season was coming to an end, and he said he doesn't feel that way right now. So he said as he was coming out off the court that this wasn't supposed to be the end. Do you feel like like it doesn't feel like closure? Uh, yeah, I, I could agree with him. Uh, I, I honestly feel that we're, we're just as good as team as them. They they uh, you know they're just out outplayed us tonight. Um, you know they were uh, pretty much unstoppable at the offensive end. So. I mean, they, they had a ton of points in the paint, not yeah. just from the bigs, but from Russ Smith penetrating. What made him so effective, and, and why weren't you guys able to slow him down at all? I'm not sure, um, but what made him effective was he was able to get into the paint, and uh, you know, I even tried to alter a couple of shots, and uh, he, he was putting up floaters, so a lot of his shots was falling tonight, and uh, you know, good players have those nights. Sometimes they just can't miss, and uh, we, we couldn't stop him from getting in the paint tonight. You, similarly, offensively for you guys, the press didn't seem to be an issue, but half court uh, defensively, they, they seemed to give you guys problems. What were they doing defensively in the half court? Um, you know, they're just uh, a suffocating team defensively. Uh, you know, a lot of pressure, and uh, that's what they're known for. So they just put a lot of pressure on us and got deflections, and uh, we turned the ball over a couple of times, which, uh, which was expected. We just wanted to keep the number low. You guys kept coming back. You could have folded at multiple times. Um, how, how, are you proud of the effort in, in the face of getting down so much early and then even down 18 with then eight minutes to go, nine minutes to go, whatever it was, and still closing the gap a little bit? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely I'm um, proud of the effort, uh, you know, never giving up. And uh, even though, you know, we took a loss, we, we are still proud because the guys, you know, just never gave up. We just never could, never could close that, that deficit.